good morning everybody it is saturday morning i am out for an eight mile run and it's a little later than i would have liked it's which means it's a bit warmer than i'm used to it's already 55 degrees which is actually perfect uh i'm out in a tank top and shorts this is fantastic spring has arrived here in denver and it's about time so i'm actually out today because i have uh, i'm gonna hit some hills so i'm gonna hit that one right there and then i'm going to continue up the hill that goes that way uh there's also uh, a race going on here in the neighborhood today this is the feet on the street half marathon um i actually uh was pinged to volunteer for this race and get a free um, race entry for one of their future races uh, i didn't get my act together early enough to get this to volunteer for this race but um you know, it looks like it's going to be a fun day. So um, I think they're coming back down this way. It looks like we've got uh, a half marathon and a 5K. So um, looks like fun, but I've got to actually do my run today. So I'm not into it, but I'm going to go do it. bugs out. Oof. Okay, so I'm about, I'm just over halfway through my run. I've hit my turnaround point and I'm headed back uh, toward home. I still have at least three miles yet. Uh, I'm walking more than I'm running because it is warmer out. I just got out late and it's warmer out than I am used to. Now, I'm kind of writing this eight miles off because I'm not really I'm just, I'm not into it. Uh, and some days we just have runs like that, right? But the victory here is that now I know I have to get my butt out of bed early if I'm going to get my runs in before it gets too hot. We have another six weeks left of school and once we hit summer, I have to get up and out the door early before my son gets out of bed so I can get that run in. Okay, so I just finished shooting the triathlon introduction video. I have to be honest, it this whole process is overwhelming. And, and I'll tell you why. I actually wanted to get back into triathlon last summer. And I didn't do it. I, I, I balked at it. Guys, I've done seven or eight triathlons at varying distances. This isn't new to me. It's just new to me recently. And, and it just, it requires a shift in my thinking that last summer I just wasn't ready for. So I'm hoping that this summer uh, I will feel like I can step gingerly back into triathlon. I think my first step is to just say, this is a sprint. It's a sprint. This isn't long course. This isn't gonna require that kind of time and that kind of commitment because I'm not mentally prepared for that. I also, um, triathlon can be an expensive sport if you get all of the bells and whistles. Uh, and we're gonna get into that as we kind of go along here in the month. Um, I just, w I'm not ready for the financial commitment of that as well. I got rid of a lot of stuff lately. I went through a whole house purge at the beginning of this year. I got rid of a lot of the clothing that didn't fit. I got rid of gear that had worn out or was just old and fatigued and I needed to get rid of it. It needs to be replaced. Um, and there are just, there's a long list of things in my mind and that's, I think that's part of the problem. There is a long list of things that's out there that I'm so afraid to tackle. And I wanna be honest here, you guys, getting back into triathlon is, there's fear, the Outdoor Divas Women's Try. And that is on a relatively new course, but there are some advantages to this course. I've been swimming in that body of water, it's Union Reservoir. I, um, I don't know the course, but it looks fairly simple and super flat, which makes me really, really happy. And then the run course is a gravel trail that just goes around the reservoir. Uh, I think it's gonna be a fun weekend. 
uh, 600 women total in the entire race course. It's a small-ish race. It's small for a triathlon, for sure. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I think that's going to be an, a fun event. It'll be okay. Trying to get myself excited for today's run, which is, um, it's my speed workout and it's training for Boulder Boulder. Eight to 10 hill repeats at 9.20 to 9.30 pace. I'm trying to get myself excited for that. I, I can't. I mean, the weather is disgusting and gray and gross, which will probably help me uh, not overheat, but um, yeah, I, I'm really mentally not excited about this one. I know it's gonna be a good workout. It's gonna be exactly what I need for uh, the purposes of uh, Boulder Boulder. Yesterday, I uh, was rolling hills at Orange Theory. So it was a lot of incline for about 20 minutes or so on the treadmill and it was it was great. And at first I thought, oh, this is not what I wanna be doing. This is not where I wanna be, uh, not the kind of workout I was looking forward to. But then I realized, I'm like, but actually this is going to be good for Boulder Boulder. So again, I'm stalling. I need to go get that workout done. But I wanted to show you this that I got in the mail. Run the Year or Run the Edge uh, has this challenge every year called Run the Year and then that number of miles in that particular year. This year though, Run the Year did, or Run the Edge had a tangential challenge. If you've already signed up for Run the Year, uh, they would enter you automatically into the April Spring Streaker Challenge. So that is running or walking at least one mile every day in the month of April. So uh, I did that. And I also ordered myself uh, the extra um, metal that comes with it. This was extra, this was not included in the challenge. So I just ordered this for myself because I did it. I wanted to show you this, I'm stalling now. I really am. I need to go out and get this workout done. Check in with you, I'll let you know how it goes. Oh baby, okay I just did eight by 400 up that hill okay this is the hill it doesn't look so bad it's about i don't even know what the elevation gain is i'll have to look at the stats but i'm telling you that was challenging i was supposed to do eight to ten of these by the time i got to the eighth one this kind of workout guys is just such a slog it's so hard and it feels like it should take it feels like it does take forever and as a result you feel like you're out here forever it's only been an hour um i have a cool down i'm gonna do an easy walk for about 400 meters and then finish out my run with an easy mile but oh i, I programmed my watch to do 10 reps and then i was going to make the decision after the eighth whether or not I wanted to do the last two. I just, by the time I got to the top of that hill right there, I was done, I'm done, I'm done. So I'm declaring victory at eight reps. Uh, I hit paces on all of them, so that's good. I'm gonna cool down, I'm gonna head home uh, after I hit the store. And there's a Starbucks at the store. I might have to hit Starbucks because it's cold and it's windy. And actually, it was just hard to stay out here. My hands are freezing. I am a bit underdressed, but it's okay. I got it done. Life is good. Well, that was challenging. Now that I am switching into triathlon and a multi-sport focus where I actually have swim, bike, and run, I'm changing things up at Orange Theory. I actually started on the bike today and I forgot how much fun that was. Um, I'm also focusing when I can on the upper body strength because that's what you need for the swim part. So I'm not gonna do as much on the treadmill when I go to Orange Theory anymore because I need to start focusing on those other two sports. I've done nothing but running for the last really four years and I want to gain some strength and some endurance back in the other two sports. It doesn't take much to make me happy, but when I get a little box like this, it says noon on it, I get pretty happy. I got more noon, yay! 
because <laughs> I'm only going through it like a tube every other day. <laughs> wow, I drink a lot of this stuff. So because I go through so much and it's great to be a noon ambassador, um, yeah, I always, I'm always buying this stuff. So this time around, I got more noon immunity because I am going through this stuff crazy. Dave's been sick. I'm not sure if he was sick still or again. Not sure. So I got, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. I got four tubes of noon, noon immunity. This is the blueberry tangerine. I got two tubes of that. And I got the orange citrus, two tubes of that. That's all the immunity stuff. Check that out. Okay. Then I got more grape because I, I can't believe it. I actually ran out of grape. Like that should never be a thing. So I got two tubes of grape. And then I got two tubes of the rest formula. This is the new formula. Okay, so this is the new formula, blackberry vanilla. I actually really like this stuff because um, it you only drink like four to six ounces of it. Uh, it's very flavorful and it kind of gives you that, it's almost like drinking tea at night. So this stuff is really good, but I got eight more tubes at noon. <laughs> this might last me the week. One thing I need to do today is get my bike down to the bike mechanic to have it tuned. It's been a long time since it's been out on the road. It's going to need a complete retooling just to make sure that everything's working right before I take it out on the road. So I am bringing it in. It's only the first week of May and I'm not planning on doing a lot of riding until after Boulder Boulder in June. Um, but the thing with early season in this area is that everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's getting their bikes out of storage or getting ready to go for long rides and they need their bikes tuned. So everybody's doing the same thing right now. It may take a couple of weeks uh, for them to actually get to my bike. So I'd want to get it down there, get it in the queue, and then we'll be all set for it. Bicycle Village. This is my local-ish shop and uh, brought the bike in to get it tuned. It just needs a big basic tune-up. Apparently I've been taking very good care of my bike for the last four years it's been, as it's been sitting in the basement. Uh, okay guys, I'm gonna close it out this week. I have no idea what I've actually shot this week or what, um, what I'm gonna be bringing you, but I'm gonna close it out anyway. So um, I just got out of the second showing of the second viewing of Avengers Endgame and I have movie fatigue uh, It's a great movie, but um, there's a lot going on in it. No spoilers. Just Went to see it again. Loved it. Okay um, <laughs> What is coming up in the next week? I don't know. We're getting close to Boulder Boulder 10k which means that I need to get myself relaxed up and recovered and um, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot of kind of niggling issues going on here uh, I've had some pretty tough workouts this week two back-to-back -back hill workouts which were really challenging so um, I kind of overdid it maybe a little bit took today got a lot of work done this morning but then I sat in the movie theater dark movie theater for about four hours today so that was but that's gonna be it for me today you guys uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos leave those in the comment section as well um, lots coming up for you in May um, it's gonna be crazy guys thank you so much for watching go find your awesome and until next time happy running Stop eating grass. Yeah, you.